Okay, we are so happy to announce that we have two baby flamingo chicks. Here at the Columbus Zoo, we have this great open air exhibit for flamingos. There's large pools, there's plenty of room for the flamingos to frolic and nest. Fortunately, natural aerial predators such as hawks can make their way into the habitat to prey on chicks. So to keep them safe, zookeepers actually pull the eggs, replace them with artificial eggs, and we hand raise the birds. These hand raised birds actually develop a lifelong relationship with their keepers and are easier to manage for veterinary care. After the eggs are pulled, they're put into an incubator and keepers maintain a really close eye on them. We candle them frequently, which means we try to take a peek inside of the egg with a very strong light to see if it's developing okay. Once the egg starts hatching, it will go into a hatcher. And that's after about 28 days for these flamingos. Once there's a small hole in the egg called a pip, the chick will actually take about 24 hours to fully hatch out of the egg. As soon as it's hatched, the chick will dry out and the veterinarian will come down for a visit and make sure that it's healthy. The chick will then go into a brooder box, which is basically just an incubator where we put the chick in, keep it warm, because at this point it can't regulate its own body temperature. Once the chick starts to grow a little bit, we start to feed it. Um, keepers will feed it about every two hours when it's very young. At about a week, we start an exercise regimen with the chicks to make sure that they're growing strong and healthy. We'll take them out into the yard, we'll walk them around, and we'll actually even give them swimming lessons. Flamingos are naturally drawn to water. They're shorebirds, they're naturally buoyant, and they love the water. So swimming them is an integral part of their exercise regime. At this age, the chicks are growing and gaining about six to 10% of their body weight every day. Because they look so similar, we use food coloring and put a different colored dot of food coloring on all of their heads to tell them apart. When they get a little bit bigger, we'll band them with a leg band, but right now their legs are growing too fast to do that. Next time you're at the zoo, stop by the Flamingo Habitat. The keepers will be bringing the chicks out into the yard for short periods of time for exercise and for the public to see.